All right, guys, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're continuing the build on our RV. Last time we gutted everything. There's a little bit more for us to take apart, but our game plan now is basically to go to the store, get the supplies that we need to get that smell out, some kind of primer, some kind of fire, you know, preventer smell thing. Because we're reading all your comments, you're saying that the smell's still gonna be there, but we're trying to get all the nooks and crannies, get all that stuff out, reprimer, reseal it, make sure that smell goes away. But let's go to the store and see what they recommend again. Okay guys, so just made it to Camping World. Let's go check out their prices. All right guys, so we got a little bit of parts from the Camping World. Let's go to uh, Lo Ho Depot and check out some supplies. So we got the supplies, let's get back to the shop. Okay, so we're back from the store. We got the paint, and before we start painting and sanding everything down, get everything ready for that, I got the two little switches we're missing for the control panel. So let's put that into the new control panel so we don't forget which these wires are for, which is for the water pump. It's for the water pump and for the water heater and something else. I think it's interior lights. So let's replace that really quick. Okay, so I got it wired in. I haven't put the LED light in it, which is this guy. Let's click the button, see if the LED turns on. Look, it turns on. And I can hear it, so that was good. Okay, so the next thing we wanna to try to do is we got some 80 grit sandpaper, and we're gonna to try to sand it. So I started sanding on it, and it's actually turning out pretty nice. So if we can smooth this out before we paint it, that would work really nice. So let's get to sanding. So here we have it, we start on this side, it's turning out really good. 
So let's uh, let's do the hard side or the really not looking good side. So let's try this wall out. So here's the, sand, the wall that I was sanding with the DA. I didn't think it was turning out that bad, but this side was not turning out good at all. So what I did was get our trusty steamer. I tried out really quick and it, it was peeling off really easily. And then we can DA it. So let me show you what I did. Guys, we've been working on this wall and it started raining. Wow. Looks like we got a little leak on the AC unit. So we're gonna have to try to fix that, take it apart. Good thing we saw this now than later. So let's check this bit. This one looks to be good. I don't see nothing leaking. And then I closed this one. Looks good. I'll see you leaking either. All right guys, so it's actually the next day. I spent yesterday with the steamer getting all this, uh, I guess wallpaper or whatever, all that's off. And as you guys can see, this wall turned out really good. So this will paint. I got to sand it down. That won't be a problem whatsoever. But then by these windows, I noticed all this and this looks like water damage because it's, it's, uh, it's coming apart and it's on both sides. Look at that. So these window seals probably have been leaking for a little bit so we're going to have to replace all that. But first let's, uh, let's clean up this mess and we'll go from there. Okay hey guys, so I guess Scott came back from Lowe's, got a little drummer tool, got some plywood or some thin stuff, so this should work really well. But it looks like the water damage did get past the dash. So I didn't want to take out the dash yet, but it looks like we're gonna have to. So let's take off the dash so we get all the way back there, make sure that's not damaged or anything like that, and go from there.
Okay, so here's the big mess, but we got it all stripped down. That was a lot harder than I thought. So let's clean up the mess and go from there. All right guys, so we stripped down the walls, all that all that water damage, all that bolt, the board. It was actually glued on there. It was glued on there really, really hard. It took us forever, but we got everything cleaned up. We got our new piece cut out. This is for the passenger side. And then we got the driver side ready. And we bought some glue. We're gonna try it out. I mean, we're gonna put it on with a brush, I guess. It seems pretty, you know, let's try it. So let's apply this, put it on there and see how it turns out. Okay, so we're getting the ceiling prepped for our new panel. We got some new adhesive, some Anderson window and door insulation. We heard this stuff's the best. We could use that on everything. Because the other stuff we use on the side, I don't know, it didn't feel like it was the strongest, so we switched our brand over to this. I think it's gonna do great, but like I said, we're prepping it, getting all wiped down, scraped off, and let's get it on there and get this panel up.
All right, guys, so we got our panel up, got it secured for now. We really wanna see how this glue is gonna hold up before we keep going. So we're gonna let it dry, let it cure properly, take the screws out and see, make sure there's no bowing before we move on to our next panel. But that's all the time we have for today. Make sure you guys check out our merch store. Really appreciate all your support. Turn on that notification bell. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button. We really appreciate it, guys. We can't do it without you. Appreciate all the support and comments and feedback that you guys are leaving. But that's all the time we have for today. We're gonna let this cure. Catch you next time.